welcome back everyone. If you're new here, it's Kiki's Tarot Cafe, and you're probably new here considering I only have four subscribers. But anyway, um, today we're doing a monthly reading. Uh, I'm gonna go all out. I have some divination dice. I have little charm bags for each pile, and then I have a uh, bunch of cards that are gonna go over your personal, your romantic, and your career life, and we'll see how it's gonna go this month. Um, so for the first pile we have a little cat, it has a little cat purse, I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> we have a pumpkin, this little pumpkin dress, then we have a ghost boy, a little ghost hat. And I am Mexican, I understand the significance of the sugar skull, I actually, um, I thought I had a lot of uh, Halloween decorations, and it turns out I have a lot of Via de los Muertos decorations, so I, I guess I'm just gonna have to make with what I've got. I do have some Halloween decorations, it's just uh, not a lot, and um, I don't want anyone to think that I'm appropriating or that I don't understand the historical significance of the Sugar Skull or the other de los Muertos things, just in case anyone... I guess I'm so used to TikTok where like everyone attacks you for everything, but <laughs> I think on YouTube people are pretty chill. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, you're not offended by the constant sugar skulls. I understand it's not Halloween, it's a, uh, you know, technically a holiday in November, but um, yeah, I probably, you will be seeing a lot more of those this month. Sorry, <laughs> I'll give you time to meditate on your piles and then we'll get started. Hello to my viewers at selected pile number one with the little Beetlejuice pants <laughs> kitter. We, this is your reading. So, let me know if the music in the background is distracting. For your overarching theme of the month, we have service. I feel good when I can help others. Okay, so. Maybe your message might be about teamwork and maybe even like being there emotionally for someone. I'm sorry if you can see all the piles. <laughs> Here's your little treat bag, we'll get to it at the end. Alright. So, let me see. I don't know if I can move this anywhere. So for your personal life, this can be anything regarding emotional states, um, you know, family situations, home life. Do, 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 do. So I see, <laughs> wonderful, good luck in a job interview. Um, it's also, so this is the card of like job interviews or new jobs. Um, it's followed by two hearts, which means you'll probably get it. Um, cycles also can mean like you do this often. Sorry, I had to pick up the cards, I freaking dropped. So yeah. Um, I see your, your personal life, your mind is kind of focused on like the job right now and I see you getting a higher paid one. I also see you um, like doing this often, maybe you're not very satisfied in your work life. I'm about to drop all these freaking cards again. This would be your romantic life. Mm -hmm. 
This is why I don't like live shuffling. There's this sentiment going around that like if you don't shuffle on camera, you're bullshit and you're like cherry picking the cards. But I feel like it takes forever to like actually get a card out. So this is your love life. And we have what appears to be a young woman. It can either be like, Jacks indicate someone who's young and that's a woman, so it could be a young woman, it could be a mother with a child, um, depending on who it is, but I also see it, um, being, like, the final card is kind of a negative card, so it's kind of like, um, how do you say this? I don't know, either that person's gonna play a negative role, it's also like um the card of addictions it could represent you you know if you can't find a way to fit a young woman into your reading it could just be the energy of like the queen um yeah i'm getting that it's a love interest though because the jack of hearts indicates a love interest and um <laughs> Oof, that seven of spades indicates an addiction, so you gotta be careful of that. We'll see more in a minute. And then we have two of spades, which is kind of like gossip, vindictiveness, um, miscommunication. Um, the six of clubs is taking things into your own hands, initiations. Um, and then the five of spades indicates kind of a depressed individual sorry it's like super hot here yeah so this is in your career life so i'm getting the message that you're kind of being gossiped about maybe by your coworkers, and maybe that's why you want a new job or why your focus is on getting a new job you also have uh, the five of spades, which is like an ending as well. So I see you like just being done with your job because there's people like talking shit about you basically and you're like over it already. So going back into your personal life, we have the word. The word is the magician. But he's in reverse, so like... You kind of have everything you need, but you feel like you don't. The Empress in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of self-image issues personally. Maybe the gossip caused it. Um, and then the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is like dissatisfaction. It could also be telling you to like wait for your wait for a good opportunity to come to you. Don't necessarily jump at the first thing just because you're trying to get out of the situation. Um, yeah, I feel like you have a lot of self-image issues, but I mean the magician is telling you that you can do it. You're fine. Um, and then the Empress in Reverse would just be telling you to like practice self-care. So that's your personal life message for the month. Um, your love life, the Ace of Pentacles. So maybe? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Oh my gosh. And look, the third card here and the third card here are like the devil energy, that addiction thing. So maybe you're practicing bad habits that are causing your like self care to go down or your self image to go down. Um. I see teamwork here in your love life. So your love life looks like it's kind of just chilling right now. There's not much gonna happen. Um, I feel like you have a lot of self work to do before you can even like really think about having a relationship. Um, the ace of pentacles can be, like if you are trying a date right now, you might feel like you're trying and you're trying and like, 
either you're trying to, you know, get with people and it's not working, or you are going on dates, but you're finding, like, that somehow the person, like, doesn't meet your requirements. Good soup. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's... I just see, like, a lot of work to be done on yourself right now. But you did get the teamwork card, so I'm feeling like maybe focus on, like, friendships or, like, focus on your work. Something that's gonna help you feel better about yourself. Because I'm guessing the work situation isn't making you feel good. <laughs> and that's kind of, like, impacting your self-image, which is stopping, you know, love from coming into your life. So, um, the teamwork card would kind of be, like... I'm thinking, like, once you kind of get a new job or get away from this toxic situation. You know, if you don't have a job, it could be, like, a work, uh, <laughs> what the hell, a school situation, an internship, I don't know, like, it depends on your individual situation, but it's, like, the work, you know, the career aspect of your life. Um, I feel like once you get out of that toxic environment and you get with people that actually, like, want to help you, you might find better luck there have the queen of swords all right so we have the queen of swords is about like kind of being cold and decisive and logical you might be a little in your feelings right now <laughs> And you're being asked to like cut that out um to really like focus on the logic of the situation you can see the clouds are behind her so it's kind of like um get that clouded judgment out of the way and when i think of swords or like in this case axes it's more like cutting through the the floof the bullshit <laughs> and you know clouds kind of look like floof so it's like cutting through all that bs and like really getting to the source of the situation because with the beast card right here, it's kind of indicating to me that you're not, um, you're not dealing with it. You're just kind of, like, engaging in negative behaviors, you know? And that could be, you know, drugs or alcohol, but it's probably, like, you just watching Netflix all day instead of, like, looking for a new job. Um, I see indecision here, like, an imbalance. So, again, they're asking you to, like, try and balance your your career life because that'll bring balance back to your self-image and that'll bring balance back to your your love life you might also have a message about paying attention to your dreams like maybe you're, you're um, receiving messages there that you're kind of ignoring um then you have the two of swords yeah the two of swords indicates a decision so ultimately you're gonna have to make a choice and I would say it's just to walk away, but I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, just make sure that you're using your logic and you're not, like, in your feelings about it. Because this is, like, balancing, right? So you want to be in, like, a, a grounded state of mind when you're making these decisions. Um, See your flow cards. the loop Ooh, here we go again all right let's pick a third one sorry so we, you received the loop which is connection so that's good it, it's like you know when you're at excuse me when you're looking for a job excuse me it's good to have connections it's interesting because like some of these customer service jobs guys like there will be someone with like two degrees and they'll reject that person they're overqualified for the job, but they'll be rejected just because of nepotism or something like that. So it's kind of like, if you feel shame about, you know, having connections or like this teamwork situation happening over here, like, don't. Just get out of this toxic job that you're at and like use connections if you have to and get, it's like about being in the loop. So, um, you know, don't be ashamed or anything if that's how you receive a job because honestly that's how a lot of 
uh, jobs are being received and if you need to get out of somewhere that's not healthy for your state of mind um, get out of there but also you have the loop which is like cycles <laughs> and here we go the cycles I feel like this is something that happens to you a lot um, and that's so funny your overarching theme is service so service is like your job right like what you contribute to society so I feel like even in your love life and even in your personal life like your mind it's all being plagued by your job like this is your overarching theme like in October there's no more time for that bullshit like you're gonna need to address it and make sure you're in a grounded state of mind when you address it because the sleep oh my gosh even like paying attention to your dreams like I said earlier sleep is um resting on it right so make sure you're um sleeping on your decisions being grounded don't make any brash decisions because you're trying to get out of here make sure you really think about what you want what you're gonna get and eventually you're gonna have to make that choice Ooh. the fly should we take it should we take it oh uh, i'll take it okay so the fly is about um opportunities honestly so i don't see you being short of any it's just a matter of making the choice oh oh yeah the fly is also about taking a leap of faith so you know if you think that you're not good enough for this job you know that self that bad self-talk that negative self-talk it you are take the leap of faith you know maybe you're scared of like that you won't like your other job and so you'd rather you know the devil you know the devil oh my gosh come on so yeah it's just a matter of like taking that leap of faith to get out of here because you probably oh my gosh step out of your comfort zone i'm saying i'm saying dude so right now you're like kind of comfortable with the devil you know you know <laughs> and you're being asked to move outside of that um because it's no longer serving you and it's starting to plague the other areas of your life it's no longer contained in just your you know what do you call it Boop -boop -boop -boop. <laughs> it's no longer contained to just your career it's starting to affect the other areas of your life and so you're gonna need to like deal with that immediately come on this is what i'm talking about guys like I will shuffle forever and I still won't get a card, so like, please be patient. I know there's a lot of people who complain about like, you know, if you're not doing it live, you're a cheater or you're lying, but like, I promise you it's literally for your benefit. I don't like editing, so I'm not going to edit this out. <laughs> Come on. Maybe that's our only message. You know, sometimes I want to pull out more cards and it's like, nah. Conclusions are within reach, so yeah. I mean, obviously, this is the next month over. An end of a tough cycle approaches. I, yeah, I just see so much toxicness. This is also about quitting your job or quitting your situation. Um, I think you know that it's time to move on. Um, you probably haven't been very happy with this for a while, especially with the cycles. Um, you know, maybe it gets better. So, so you kind of like stay there and you're like, oh... You know it's not that bad and then it gets worse again or like someone talks shit and then it kind of blows over but then someone starts talking shit again and so it's kind of like you're going over these cycles again but like i think this overall cycle like it's time for it to end and bring love into the situation <laughs> that's funny um yeah I, I don't even see it as like you should be loving and you should be kind and you should bring love you should be nice to these shitty people I just see it like bringing love to yourself because you're clearly talking negatively about yourself and I also see it as like you know do it for you like bring you know <laughs> quitting or leaving behind toxic situations is a form of self-care it is self-love for you to understand that this is no longer serving you and you have to move on and so i would say that's your way of bringing love into the situation if that makes any sense so we've got clue cards these are so cute they're called the night visions tarot i mean oracle and they're it's like a bunch of little bats being precious go support the artist 
Um, her name is Cat Mallard. At least that's her artist name. I don't know if you can see it on screen. Can you see it? Focus, focus. Hocus pocus. <laughs> I don't think you can. All right, well. And just look up the Night Visions Oracle. It's not very expensive. It's really cute. Very tiny. Little bats. Maybe it's not your thing, but I love it. <laughs> Come on. I will say that I've never had this deck of cards pull a card out quickly. I don't think it's just me, guys. I swear, some of these decks just like to take their time. Any messages for pile number one? <laughs> Come on. Come on. It's like not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna fan it out and pick one. Compassion. Oh, companion, I'm sorry. Yeah, so again, we had the teamwork down here. I feel like maybe you're feeling a little alone right now. Oh, one flipped out. Hope, look, aw, little bats. I hope you can see them. Yeah, so. Companion, spooky pals, that's cute. Curiosity and community. So you are having some sort of help of like being in the loop or like getting teamwork, you know? There is a group of people out there in your life <laughs> that are trying to help you, even if you don't know them yet. Like maybe it's part of your, you know, your new job, but I feel like you're, you're feeling kind of hopeless about the idea that you're not gonna find friends or in your new job or your new situation. And it's just telling you like, that's not true. Um, curiosity, <laughs> so it's like encouraging you to explore a little bit, um, yeah, I feel like fear has kind of stopped you from exploring, or you're scared that it's gonna be like a worse situation, but I, I see it getting better. The dragonfly. A llama. <laughs> you got the phoenix. All right. So we all know what the phoenix is, right? Transformation, regeneration, rising from the ashes, rising from the dead. So you're definitely gonna have a transformative uh, energy, and it might even happen towards the end of the month. I don't know. We'll see right now because you got two dice in your little charm bags. Um. But yeah, like. That's the energy I'm getting from you guys, like, there's a death that's gonna happen, metaphorical, and then, um, and then eventually you'll just get the rebirth of that. So, then we have the dragonfly. Do, do, do. The dragonfly, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very familiar with the spirit, so I'm gonna read from the book, just cause... I couldn't personally pick up anything intuitively off of it, so... Master of Light, Illusion, and the Mind. The dragonfly is an ancient and ethereal creature that awakens a sense of wonder and awe. The dragonfly is a symbol of the mind, as it is always moving, shifting, shimmering, and changing. When the dragonfly appears, it's worth considering the quality of your mind and perception. Are, <laughs> are they restless or still? dreamlike or crystal clear the situation at hand may be different than it appears at first glance the dragonfly reminds us to have a calm mind so the light of wisdom can shine through yeah i would have never gotten that by thinking of dragonflies the way i think of dragonflies is like they move in a very odd pattern and they only appear at certain times of the year and that's all i could think of when i thought of a dragonfly <laughs> i'm like do they come out of a cocoon i really i'm not familiar with this animal but i would have never guessed um but it's asking you to have a clear mind, which again is just um, confirmation of the two cards down here that they're asking you to make a choice. I think you know what the choice is. And they're asking you to like really consider like, are your fears valid? Um, or not to invalidate you, but just in the sense of like, 
have you built them up in your head versus are they actual crossable fears um so i'm just gonna roll the energy of the month you got the third house you got venus and you got virgo so virgo already rules the sixth house which is the house of service <laughs> and we have venus which is love self-image um what do you call it almost like material objects sometimes but when when i think of virgos virgos are very critical <laughs> very self-critical and very critical of others um but i also think virgos are very beautiful so i feel like you're not seeing the beauty in yourself you're just kind of criticizing yourself and maybe part of it is like other people's opinions being put onto you and you're just kind of like projecting that and kind of absorbing that into yourself if you're a little sensitive because venus is a little sensitive but um especially with the third house the third house is communication and you know that could be positive and it could be negative like i feel like other people's communications about you have kind of affected you um but i also feel communication can be a positive thing like the people you know the little inner circles that you have like will help you get out of the situation and maybe help you see your worth a little bit more um yeah so then we got your little charms let's see how these guys want to fall out i'm gonna flip these over just so you have a nice background four four okay so Maybe the fourth of the month is going to have a significant uh, meaning for you, or the eighth of the month even. You have luck on your side. <laughs> Kiss. So And sweet. Maybe you do have like a, a romantic uh, situation happening. It's just kind of like... Um... Like, I think other people see you very beautifully, and maybe that's why they have a lot of, like, jealous energy towards you, but you, you're not really saying that for yourself, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, oh, and we got another one right here. A little heart. So, yeah, the heart is about bringing love. You really need to be sweet to yourself. Um, this is about being kind of, like, protected. It's it's a heart, right? <laughs> don't, don't make fun of my beanie babies. Um, but it's also encased, so I just think of, like, Kind of being defensive kind of being protective dopey maybe you're being asked to be a little bit more adventurous a little bit um more naive the virgo energy is also like the virgin right <laughs> so kind of like um having hope i guess you had one of those cards right here but i don't want to keep moving stuff around so yeah just kind of like maybe even getting in touch with your inner child you have a broken cup which, you know, again, in some cultures, that's good luck. So, um, you have a lot of good luck here. And then you got, you got your lucky numbers, which are 40, 52, 42, 33, 22, 55. So a lot of repeating numbers. So maybe, um, you know, if you're working with your guides or something, ask them for confirmation and you'll see like, oh my gosh, even 4-4, four, four, literally, okay, 44, 33, 22, 55. So I feel like you guys, maybe you're seeing a lot of repeating numbers and if you're not, you're going to start seeing them as a form of like confirmation. And again, with the Phoenix energy, you have a death. Um, the seahorse, we'll get back to these two. <laughs> be not afraid of growing slowly be afraid of only standing still yeah so i feel like you're you're super wow okay chef kisses Mwah. that's perfect dude like come on um and i'll get back to that but the seeds are about like planting the seeds right so right now you don't want to but they're asking you to just like start just start planting the seeds start the little you're not gonna automatically see um growth and maybe that's what you're scared of maybe you're gonna switch jobs but you're gonna be like at a lower position and you don't want to but it's gonna ultimately like benefit you so they're just kind of asking you to like grow even if you it's slow because you know the seed doesn't grow overnight <laughs> but it'll still like the fruits of your labor will be worth it you have the hanger when i think of the hanger i think of like feeling like you're hung out to dry <laughs> um yeah 
or I also think of like kind of being in the background for some reason like I feel like a lot of people just put things in their closet and then they forget about them but yeah so maybe there's something you've forgotten about or maybe um your work has kind of forgotten about you like you've put a lot of work and effort you've probably given a lot to the company and then you're not getting the respect you deserve so that's kind of what I think of it, it's also like to hang on <laughs> um so yeah like um you might feel like giving up because you're not seeing immediate results but they're they're kind of telling you like hang in there you're good and then we got the little seahorse um when I think of the seahorse it's I guess I do kind of think of teamwork because it's like I'm not sure if it's the only one, but if it's not, then it's one of the only ones where the man, you know, bears the children, or the male of the spirit, I shouldn't say the man. Um, so yeah, kind of like, especially with Virgo, I feel like they, um, they kind of take on the whole load to themselves. <laughs> and maybe sometimes it's because you're like, Ugh, everyone around me is acting like an idiot. I'd rather do it myself than have them do it wrong. But you're, you're kind of being asked for like to work with people to be, you know, a team player and to kind of um, consider um, how do I say this? Like I don't know. I almost think of the Ten of Wands, if you're familiar with tarot. Like, you're, you're taking on a lot of the load, and it's kind of time to ask for help. Um, but yeah. So, so I hope that was a helpful reading for the month. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have messages of your personal and love life. Like, it's all plagued by your fucking career. That sucks. But... I think you know the right choice to make so i'll just leave that there and thank you for watching pile number one i hope that was helpful hello pile number two we selected the pumpkin guy i believe yes <laughs> i think here is your little treat bag we'll get to it at the end and let's start your reading oh yeah you have a card <laughs> So your overall theme is honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Yeah, so kind of, you know, about speaking your truth. <laughs> um, but seriously, like, maybe you're having trouble expressing yourself or your emotions. Okay, alright, so the six of diamonds indicates holding your feelings in, suppressing your feelings. You might even be feeling jealousy or anger right now, and it's, uh, you're not talking about it. <laughs> so, already, right off the bat. So we're gonna have your personal life, your mind, we're gonna have your, um, your romantic life, and then we're gonna go over your career life, and we'll see how that goes. Alrighty. Alright, so I see a little bit of concern with money. Um, maybe even a car. I also see a potential phone call. And um, I feel like part of the reason why you're not being honest. Maybe you're being asked to call someone up <laughs> and be honest with them. But I, I feel like part of the reason you're not being honest is because you feel like you can't trust people. Maybe you have come clean before and it hasn't gone over well. Um, so now you kind of don't trust, you know, yourself to be open with the individual. Alrighty. Let's go. So for your love life, um... I feel like you're finding love at, in your job. Like, this is an indication of a working man, this is an indication of a business partner, and this is an indication of, uh, 
it could be school for some of you, you know, it doesn't have to be work, but it, um, yeah, just like the, the focus of your career, I suppose. So for some of you, maybe that's a message that you're not thinking about love, you're kind of focusing on your career, but I'm getting the, the feeling that like either a colleague or a coworker, like you're kind of starting a romantic thing with them. Oh, and then lastly for your for your career messages you received it's possibly a female in your life um, sorry I'm trying to make sure you guys can see all three piles okay so the six of hearts indicates a male. I'm sorry, I said female earlier. Um, kind of being the focus of your career right now. I also see like you're having issues with money. I see you saving money for some reason, but it, it's followed by a spade. So it makes me think like it's not because you want to. It's kind of like you have to. So we'll talk about that. So the five of, this is your personal life, so the five of wands indicates an individual fighting with a bunch of other people, so there's a lot of conflict happening in your personal life. I'm not sure what about, you do have the king of pentacles, so that might indicate, maybe you're having arguments about money, or maybe authority, you might be having issues with your authority figures. Or maybe you're an authority figure and you're having issues with, you know, your underlings. I do see, like, you guys are not communicating well. Like, there's a lot of conflict here. This is also the personal life. So this could be at home. It could be at work, but it's possible that it's at home. Maybe you and your parents are arguing. Maybe um, you and your children are arguing. It really depends. But I do see, like, an authority figure and there's conflict there. You guys are, like, not working as a team. And maybe part of it is, like, you don't feel like you can be honest with them. Especially if you are not the authority figure, because then you feel like, you know, you might feel like there's a lot of um, negative repercussions for speaking your mind. Then you have your love life, the Page of Cups. So, yeah. It's like a, ooh, okay. <laughs> um, the Page of Cups is about exploring, right? It's like a relationship that just started. So either, you know, I don't see romantic indicators here. I only see like career indicators. So it's possible that you were thinking about starting or you're just starting a relationship with this individual but I do see they're kind of plagued with something like I don't think they're a good person for you and I think uh you don't want to leave for whatever reason I think you have to be honest not only with other people but with yourself like maybe there's a reason you're just kind of hanging out with this person or like you know even though you know they're no good for you or that you won't end up together, you're just kind of like, maybe you don't want to be alone. There's some kind of like negative habit of yours even. Um, you also receive like party cups, right? Like they're at a party. Um, and I, the beast is, or the devil is, um, what do you call it? It's like addiction so maybe for some of you like you just kind of want to party and you're kind of ignoring your problems he also is holding like a party cup like one of those red disposable cups so it's possible you're just kind of like not thinking about it right now 
you're not being honest with yourself you're just kind of like well i'll deal with it later but like it's actually negatively affecting you um but you don't want to walk away maybe because that's your comfort zone because that's what happens with the devil right like you can walk away at any moment if you want to but we stay because it's comfortable or we stay because we're receiving um essentially like comfort from it right but at the end of the day it's not good for you and it's not serving you so you have to walk away but yeah i see you holding on like you just don't want to um and i also don't think this person necessarily cares about you like the fact that there's no romantic indicators like if anything they see you more as a business partner with this two of clubs we also have your career messages which are uh warm interest so maybe like yeah that's funny because like <laughs> in your love portion you got um work messages and then in your work portion you got a love message but it's like warm interest so maybe you guys are like flirty and maybe you're like oh it's just the beginning of it you know maybe it'll increase or something but i don't think it's really going anywhere it ultimately ends in a death <laughs> so that's kind of like eventually you're gonna have to cut it out it, and even this this is the same energy right here like you know you have to walk away the six of swords is about leaving a situation you can see um i don't know if you can see but there's like turbulent waters down here and you're headed towards the calmer waters so i feel like either you don't want to be honest with this individual you don't want to be honest with you know the person in your personal life you don't want to be honest with yourself you're just kind of ignoring it for the comfort. Um, yeah, also watch your money, you know, if you're not hoarding your resources, then be careful because you might be like overspending on this person. I also have the page of wands. You have two pages, that's interesting. It's like, you're just starting things. Whoops, hold on. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not one of those readers that's like, oh, the phone rang, so that's confirmation. Like, no, the phone just fucking rings and I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that. Um, <laughs> I don't get to put it on silent just because I'm, you know, reading tarot cards. Um, choo -choo. So where were we? The pages. So you're kind of just like starting your situation both in career and in love and um and so maybe that's part of it like you don't want to give up on it so quickly because it just kind of started but like you're immediately being asked to walk away so i just don't think this is a situation that's serving you and i think you have to be honest with other people and you have to be honest with yourself um and again oh my god so when i thought of this card i thought of this card and when i got this card i thought of this card it's literally like you're feeling defensive maybe people like attack you if you see her she's kind of like defending herself she has to um i don't i don't know like who you're dealing with that's making you feel under attack but you just feel like really defensive right now again like you you don't trust people you don't trust them. <laughs> i literally call this the trust no bitch card like you are not having it and so i don't know where this is stemming from with you specifically because this is a general reading so you're, you're gonna have to be honest with yourself and you're gonna have to realize like why are you so defensive why are you attracting people that don't really care about you why are you stuck in these situations that don't serve you and even though you know you should walk away you're kind of just staying in them anyway because it's your comfort zone but like um you're gonna have to do some like really ugly self-reflecting you have to be honest um yeah so Let's see your other car. <laughs> it just feels so weird to be like, okay, let's move on after like really subtweeting you, calling you out. A chewy. Um, you have communication is key. Moon and Gemini. Yeah, so you have to communicate your emotions with people. You have to 
I, like I again, I, you guys are not working together. You have to be honest. Take time to breathe out. So maybe, you know, just kind of seclude yourself from everyone. You don't have to um, necessarily... I don't know, like, I, I think people forget to take time to themselves. They just kind of need to be alone with their thoughts and they kind of really need to do some self-reflection. And you're like, but I kind of want to, like, fucking go out and party. And, like, I get that. <laughs> but it's not serving you. And so I think you need to separate yourself from the influence of other people and to really do some deep um, self-reflection and see, like, why it is the things you do. And you have to just kind of take time and, like, breathe out and when you know if you are in into meditation which you're probably not considering your habits but i don't know you this is a personal you know this isn't a personal reading um yeah you're just being asked to kind of like meditate to breathe to um self-reflect a personal itch <laughs> a personal issue reaches its resolution oh my god my tongue so yeah so i, I do see you know, especially with the death card down here, like, eventually you're gonna resolve the situation, but you really have to, you have to do the work, which you probably don't want to, and you have to be, you have to, like, sit down and have serious conversations with people. Be bold and make the first move, let's go. So maybe you, you're kind of waiting around for people to address it, or maybe you're, you're like, oh, it'll reach its breaking point, and then I can deal with it then, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, and it's like, no you have to do it you have to make the first move as uncomfortable as it may be so we have the float the float is liberation it does make me kind of think of the six of swords down here um you will feel a sense of freedom and the shadow bitch <laughs> the shadow is shadow work you know meditation really self-reflecting looking at the ugliest parts of your side you know the devil side of you and like really thinking um not necessarily uh, how can I get rid of it, but like a more of a thoughtful, helpful process, you know, like why am I this way? Um, how can I um, accept that part of myself without continuing uh, toxic behaviors? It, it's a lot of deep self-reflection. It's the unknown. And uh, in addition to that, that's funny because this is the unknown. Um, the lock basically means like you're not meant to know certain things so maybe you have concerns about like if you make this move this will happen or if you do this this will happen and it's kind of like um, you're not meant to know certain pieces of the future and so just kind of roll with that don't be so concerned but yeah there's a lot of like Maybe even when you do self-reflection, you still won't find the answers, and that's okay. Just um, be aware of your behaviors and how to prevent them and what triggers them. And even if you're not sure, like, where they stemmed from or if you don't know how to, like, deal with them or get rid of them, you know? Because a lot of the times what ends up happening is we don't fix the problem. We just kind of learn different ways to cope with it or to manage it so sometimes I think this might be telling you you know sometimes we don't get the closure that we want sometimes we don't always find the answers but not everything is something that can be fixed it's just uh being aware will help you drastically the B the B is teamwork I think you know you have communication right there um yeah. <laughs> when I think of the bee, I also think they put, like, their life's work into, like, what, a tablespoon of fucking honey. So it's kind of, like, maybe you're, you're putting a lot of work into these situations that, like, ultimately don't do much. Or ultimately don't, you know, turn out to be something meaningful to you. So just be aware of that. You got the lamb and the cheetah. The cheetah is like fast movement, let's go. <laughs> the lamb is kind of innocent. I kind of think of like the inner child. Um, maybe there's some work you have to do there, like childhood traumas. Um, I, I'm i honestly not too familiar with the cheetah spirit, so I'm just gonna see if there's any more um, messages for you. 
solar force, action, achievement, and masculine energy. The cheetah is the epitome of the solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah, it shines from inside. This great creature expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy within the cheetah personality <laughs> is palpable to others and they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose, passion, purpose and passion are, sorry guys, I'm dyslexic, <laughs> like genuinely, I'm not just throwing that word out there. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for the cheetah's forward momentum, so if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect with why before you start running. Yeah, so maybe you guys are like taking off the moment you find something especially with this page energy but it's kind of telling you like to really consider the why of the situation um I, also this is like the total opposite energy of the lamb spirit i feel like the lamb is very calm very gentle and the cheetah's like you know aggressive masculine energy so <laughs> maybe right now you kind of feel like the lamb um you know maybe even letting people walk on you or herd you in a certain direction but um i think you're being asked to call upon the cheetah spirit and to also um to not necessarily have teamwork right but just like to have that open communication with the individual that like it's time to move on so we got your night visions oracle these cute little bat boys let's see if they want to come out because okay during the last reading they did not want to wisdom so i feel like uh, you don't have to feel like you wasted your time or you wasted your energy like you still learned something from the situation and i think you're gonna learn to be honest um cozy <laughs> You're kind of comfortable right now. You you don't really want to move into this energy. You don't want to disturb what's happening. But I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't serve you. So you're going to have to move on anyway. Um, I also don't think you're necessarily very happy in these situations. I think you're just kind of comfortable. And so you just kind of let it happen. But it's not serving you. And I think you're going to... It's not going to... Um, go away just because you don't deal with it like it'll probably just come in a worse manner because you didn't address it how you wanted to address it um hope yeah <laughs> the last group got that one it's kind of i mean that's pretty self-explanatory asking you to have hope in the situation and indulgence okay so that devil energy again like you guys are just um doing what you want to because it's comfortable and i've been there i think we've all freaking been there but uh at the end of the day it doesn't serve you so reconsider so i'm gonna roll your astrology dice three gemini neptune so gemini rules the third house and gemini is communication <laughs> Um, I think this is even the moon in Gemini. So you're really being asked to communicate, you know, um, about your feelings, the blue, you know, throat chakra. Um, just just really being honest with yourself. Because the as much as Gemini rules communication, it also rules the mind. So it's kind of like doing your self-reflective work um, and communicating and, and finding how to put your thoughts into words in a very um, helpful manner. Neptune, <laughs> Neptune is illusions, right? I think it gets a bad rap. It's also other things, but I feel like you, you've kind of given yourself an illusion about this. Like, I, I don't really have to deal with any of that. <laughs> I'll just deal with it later. Or even like, um, maybe you've lied, you know, to other people to kind of like keep them happy or to kind of like, um, I don't know just to serve your indulgences like whatever that may mean for your situation um and maybe you've even lied to yourself like there's deception here um that you just don't want to deal with because it's more comfortable <laughs> not to but again like it's not gonna serve you so 
Um, let's see where your dice land. So either the 26th, um, the 2nd, the 6th, or the 8th might be relevant to you in this month. Come on. <laughs> Um, you received the hope again! Oh my gosh, like, hope and hope. Um, you received a giant- this is like my biggest shield in my charms, um, little baggy. So I feel like you- you're very defensive right now, like you're kind of protecting yourself and your energy right now, but um, I hope I didn't attack you. I'm not trying to, like, you know, call you out or anything, but, yeah. Um, you, like, don't trust anybody, and maybe that's why you're lying to them. You're just kind of putting up these images, these illusions to them to, like, keep them happy, but, like, you know that's not good for you. It's not serving you. It, it might make you very unhappy when you're not distracting yourself with indulgences. Um hope good reach yeah when i ever <laughs> this one's funny um okay so i think of like reaching for a new situation and, and maybe you're like scared that it'll turn out worse or like maybe you're scared to be alone and that's kind of why you attract you know people that don't care about you just to have someone around but um i feel like if you you actually reach for the other situation you'll find something good um you just have to have hope and ever ever could be many things it could be forever it could be whatever you know <laughs> it really depends on what it means to you um but yeah with the death little skull right here and then the death card down here i feel like it's already it's not gonna be forever because it's reaching its breaking point at this time but um i would rather you sit down and be honest with yourself and then talk to other people then have you you know let it slide until it blows up in your face um okay there's a lot so <laughs> let me put these down the rocking horse it makes me think of going back and forth like maybe you're going back and forth in your head a lot you don't know what to choose you're kind of like i want to reach for something better but what if it's bad you know i want to do this but what if this happens um I want a, you know, a better situation, but I'm kind of comfortable here. You're like going back and forth in your head, and then that becomes mentally exhausting, so you just go and indulge. <laughs> it's kind of like a vicious cycle. Um, so yeah, um, that's what that charm means. You have a guitar pick, like maybe there's, you know, messages and music that are being communicated to you. Um, you might be clairaudient. Um, this could also be an indication to, like, express yourself artistically. Um, you, there is also a crown of thorns here. So I feel like, um, what, whatever your religion is, I'm not trying to force anything upon you, it's just the crown of a thorns imagery is kind of like a sacrifice, right? It's gonna be painful, but it's ultimately for the best. Um, so yeah. Then you have Jughead Jones. <laughs> Sorry, I put, took your pick away. Jughead Jones is like an investigator. Um, oh my god, that show is a mess and I had to stop watching it just for my sanity, but maybe you'll have to stop doing something for your sanity. But Jughead Jones, yeah, he's the investigator. He like doesn't put up with uh, people's bullshit. He really cuts through like, he's almost like a little rager. He's also very emo and edgy, so like right now you're being defensive and edgy, but <laughs> you have reason to be. Um, with the investigator, he's like a journalist, so... Um, I, I really, you know, you're being asked to like really investigate your shadow side to really explore what that is and and what you need from yourself and from other people. You have a bird, I think of freedom. The turtle, slow and steady. So you're not gonna get like immediate results. You're not gonna drop this person and then make a giant group of friends, you know? You're gonna have to learn to be comfortable with yourself and your situation. And um, 
and know that ultimately you do reach a good situation you have to have hope but it's gonna be slow it's not gonna be like you know immediate results whoa i i cut people out of my life and now everything's perfect like no <laughs> there's a lot of healing that you have to do a lot of teamwork you're still gonna have to learn to communicate your emotions um yeah it's just a lot the glasses i think of saying things for what they really are you know blurry visions and then just putting on um putting on glasses to help you see like the truth see through other people's bullshit um the if you don't see them as glasses and you see them as shades <laughs> this is corny but um it's an indication of like a bright future um and, and you're just gonna have to put on your your shades to cover from how bright it is which is a good sign another good sign you received a doggy a doggy is an indication of a friend so um this might even be a literal dog so you know if you do have a pet, try to play with them or try to walk them or try to, you know, hold a bond with them because they can't betray you, right? It doesn't matter what your race is. It doesn't matter what your sexual orientation is. They don't care what your problems are. They will always love you. So it's kind of like maybe right now you just need unconditional love. So try to focus on like a pet if you already have one, you know, or... Um, or maybe you actually do have a friend that cares for you unconditionally and you've just been out of touch for some reason. So it's kind of like, it's not that no one cares about you. It's just that, um, you try to, try to find people that, you know, are good for you at the end of the day. And then you have the wasp, which, you know, she's a superhero, <laughs> but, uh, the actual wasp spirit, um, to, <laughs> reminds us that life stings. You know, things do sting you. It's unfortunate. It happens. But um, there is always good at the end of the tunnel, essentially. <sighs> so, yeah, that was kind of heavy. I'm sorry. Um, I hope that was a helpful reading for your month. Pumpkin pile. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have a good month. Hello, pile number three who selected our ghost boy looking real fly in his little stripey stripes. We got uh, your, your bag of charms, your trick or treats, <laughs> and then we got your theme of the month, which is a freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Alrighty, let's see what that's about. So your first pile across the... Uh, your first row of cards will be your personal life. That could be your home life. That could be your mind You'll have your romantic life afterwards, and then you'll have your career. So we'll see how it goes Okay, wow, well, all right, all right So I see you having financial success um, Like recognition for your good work possible uh, tr <laughs> delayed travels for some of you like if you were planning to have a business trip or something I see it being cancelled um, I also see like even though you are being rewarded or recognized you might have um, delays in your recognition or um, you know maybe you're not receiving all the recognition you deserve but you're fine financially <laughs> so that's good um, there, you might, that's kind of on your mind right now. Excuse me. There might also be gossip about you at work that's concerning you. I feel like your mind and your, uh, personal life are being kind of overtaken by your concerns with work or money. Your romantic life is, um... You do have a warm interest. It's very gentle, very lovely. <laughs> um, the eight of clubs indicates, um, how do you say it? Kind of like jealousy at work. Um, maybe you're 
dating a coworker or you guys are flirting or something and like your other coworkers are jealous of you. Um, I also see money being a concern for you. So like, <laughs> this is similar to pile one where like your job kind of overtook the other areas of your life. Like your mind is thinking about your job. Um, your love life is still attached to your job. Um, and then finally your career. And then it's funny because you received people instead of messages about your career. So it's possible that, you know, oh, there's a little ant. No, no, buddy. Sorry. No. Yeah, I know. It's scary. He immediately started running across the card. Like, I know. <laughs> All right. Um... The ant is about teamwork, so maybe he was a little spirit animal, or spirit guide animal, I guess, because spirit animals belong to the natives. So I'm not here to, like, trigger anyone. Uh, yeah, so the... Maybe there's not a lot of teamwork happening. There's a lot of backstabbing happening. <laughs> uh, I do see gossip, and I do see, like, Either two women and I, uh, this could either be a young boy or a young girl, or it could be, um, one older woman and then one younger woman. Um, not even necessarily older, just, like, older than the other one. It could also, there's, like, so many different meanings, that's all like, ah. It could be in, uh, a woman with a child. So, like, someone who's a mother, and then, like, another woman that accompanies her. So, I just feel like they're talking shit about you. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if that's not the case, um, they're definitely, like, a big influence in your job. We'll explore more of it. I think you might also be looking for financial freedom. Just considering, like, money, money yeah okay so the first card is walking away <laughs> so there's that um oh yeah you feel like that's backstab and you're kind of being asked to walk away from the situation and you're being asked to start something new, which is what the, the fool is about. Um, yeah, you can see like 10 axes in the back of this uh, tree trunk, which is supposed to represent you, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, you feel kind of like this is an ending that you didn't want, um, but it's, I don't know. I don't want to say it's inevitable because because I don't believe in like fatalism or anything, but I do see a new beginning. It's like walking away an ending you didn't want and then a new beginning. But it's good because it's you know, it's upright, which means like You'll have good luck on your new adventures. It's not just gonna be like... As much as he's called the fool, the fool doesn't... You know, he comes prepared, <laughs> ma'am. So it's not, um... Like an abrupt start or anything. I think it'll be positive. So you have the five... You're focusing on your losses. Like, you're very upset about having to leave this situation. Um, but honestly, like, all I see is sunshine. The sun is, like, people say it's the best card you can get. Just because it's, like, nothing but happiness. There's no negativity. Um, it's like your inner child is shining. Um, we also have the seven of cups, which indicates a lot of options. So maybe, you know, you don't want to walk away from the situation because you feel like you won't have, like, it's also going to be shitty for you. But I think you, there are other options for you that um that can grant you the freedom not only like financially but just in terms of like 
don't know, maybe you feel trapped by like their gossiping. Maybe um, it's starting to affect, you know, other coworkers. They're talking, it's not just like staying in their little group anymore. So it's possible that it's like going everywhere and now it's affecting your job. And it's just kind of like, you have options. You don't have to be here. Um, the King of Cups. Oh, hold on, before I move on. So this is supposed to be like your, your romantic aspect. Um, I also feel like <laughs> you have a lot of options romantically. You're probably a very beautiful person um, or people find you very attractive, very charming. Um, you might still be focusing on an ex or like a past situation. Um, but ultimately I see you very happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> your career, you have the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. So you have two people and then I've had it's so funny you got like people and then you got people again and then the ten of pentacles so I see you ultimately having financial freedom like the ten of pentacles that's all about it the ten of clubs again like this is positive but then it's followed by like a delay so I feel like maybe you won't find the recognition for it that you're looking for here but you might find it somewhere else um, if you don't plan to move from this job, it's possible that, um, they're just asking you to walk away from, like, their bullshit and to just focus on you, and, um, eventually you will receive the recognition. Hmm, yeah, that's so funny, you just got people and then you got people, it's the king, the knight, the, the knight. And so the king of cups talks to us about being emotionally fulfilled, um, then you have the Knight of Cups, which is kind of like your knight in shining armor. Um, and you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is like slow and steady. So, um, I feel like your success will come to you. It's just not going to come immediately, which is, uh, you know, that's not a bad thing. I mean, maybe if you're a fire sign, it might be a bad thing because you're like, I want it now. But, uh... Yeah, ultimately the fact that you have so many people, like literally all these cards are people cards, it's kind of like you're letting others influence your decisions and your mind, um, and you're kind of being asked to to detract yourself from that, to let it end, to start anew, so that you can find the success that you're looking for. Let's see, messages, messages. This is why I don't like to live shuffle. I always feel like rushed. <laughs> and then it's like... There we go. One, two. Oh, three. Perfect. The song. The song is about healing and happiness and peace. The through is telling you you're gonna make it through so you don't have to really worry about um, if things will work out for you in the future and then you have the fly which is asking you to take a leap of faith which is what the full card is you know maybe some of you want to own a business or something you don't want to be working wherever you're working and it's just kind of uh, it's telling you to start something new then you have the the answers you need are coming. All right, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's time to release negativity. So yeah, walking away from these situations, these toxic people, and show the world the real you. So <laughs> I feel like your messages are about freedom from this situation. Like you're you're kind of feeling trapped right now. And it's like telling you to like go of that negativity and you will find freedom in like being yourself as corny as that sounds it's it's true and so i feel like if you just like keep doing your thing um it might piss them off but like they're irrelevant <laughs> it's your world they're just living in it and so yeah time to release negativity and to show the world the real you there goes one. Another one. Let's go. Alright, so we got 
the zebra and the cosmic egg. <laughs> when I think of the zebra, I think of that saying that says, like when you hear hooves, don't think zebras. So it's possible like you're giving these people a lot of power. Um, you know, in your mind, they're probably just like little bitches talking shit. <laughs> it's not necessarily um, anyone to be worried about. But I'm honestly not familiar with the zebra spirit, so I'm going to read from the book. And it says that zebras are the most precious of gems. They are young at heart. So again, with that like child, <laughs> inner child energy. They are young at heart, well cultured, and have an undying curiosity of life. Being in the company of a zebra's personality not only is a delight, but it opens our minds. Be prepared, their potent magic is contagious, and you may soon find yourself in a faraway land, expanding your worldview while having a blast. Zebras also like to contribute to the global health <laughs> oh, wow, through environmental or volunteer work. This card may be a hint to pack your bags. Get the fuck out of the situation. Um, also, a message for some of you might be that, um, hmm, like literally, like I said, you you guys had a business trip or something, or maybe you just had a trip to go see your family or something, and it just got canceled. That that's or there's delays to it. Like maybe you, you don't have all the money you need. Like there's something, you know, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Maybe you know, the country that you're trying to visit had a lockdown or something. But, um, yeah, I see, like, travel for you, but I, I do see delays in it, if I'm honest. Um, uh, yeah. That's funny that it said, like, it's kind of like, I think of an Aquarius with a humanitarian work, <laughs> talking about how, um, do, 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 where does it go? Yeah, global health. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, yeah. I don't want to start getting, uh, you know what, fuck it. I was gonna say, like, you're probably not an anti-masker, masker, and, uh, and I was like, well, I don't want to offend anyone, and then I was like, you know what, fuck you, wear your fucking mask. So, yeah, you're probably, like, very aware of that, and, and, you know, you might be angry as well, like, these people weren't watching themselves, and now I can't visit my family. So, uh, yeah, or you might actually be like a healthcare professional, but either way, um, that's the energy of the zebra. Um, the cosmic egg, completion, harmony, and the infinite within. So the egg is interesting because it's like, it's potential, right? Like it's not actually hatched, even though this one's like wrapped in a... In a snake um it, it feels like protective like the egg is already a layer of protection and then there's a snake on top of it so it's like uh, maybe you're feeling a little defensive or protective the egg is also like infinite possibilities you know especially if you're not like a biologist or anything you might be like um sorry <laughs> the music cut off Um, yeah, if you're not a biologist or anything, uh, y if you see an egg, you probably don't know what that egg belongs to. <laughs> it, it can be infinite possibilities. And like, granted, if it's a freaking huge egg, it's probably an ostrich egg and not, you know, a chicken egg or a blue jay. You know, some of them have spots. So like, yeah, there are indicators, but at the end of the day, like, it's ultimately, you don't know. And ultimately, you don't know if it's fertilized or not, so there might not even be anything inside of the egg. And when you crack an egg open, you know, it could be red with spots, it could have brown spots. It's like endless potential, endless uh, possibilities. Um, it is the element of spirit, so it's kind of like mystical. <laughs> it's not um, It's not really of this earth because it's in an in-between space, right? Like the animal hasn't come in, but it's not... Like, it's still on the physical realm, so it's kind of like this in-between space, and maybe you're feeling that, you're kind of like, you know, in that liminal, liminal, <laughs> in that liminal space yourself. Um, yeah, so let's see, the beaver spirits. 
we have the Night Visions Oracle, which is basically a bunch of little bats being cute. Let's see what you get. Sweet, sweet. Okay, we have curiosity, so exploration, you know, um, you have endless potential, but you're not really like exploring what it is you want. You're kind of just like feeling stuck, timeless, perspective, guidance. <laughs> um, when I think of perspective, I think of the hangman in reverse. Um, kind of like... Just changing your point of view. I think like right now, you might be building up things to uh, being like bigger than they actually are. Not to invalidate your feelings, but it's possible you're being asked to kind of manage your perspective or change your perspective. Um, and then you have guidance, which if you do read your own tarot cards or you talk to your guides, you know, you can ask them for signs or messages. Um, and you might find that very helpful to you. You could also ask for advice from like a friend or, a, you know, authority figure, a mentor figure, a parental figure. Uh, do do untethered from time never gets old what stayed with you okay so the timeless card is asking you i feel like you've learned this lesson before because um the oracle descriptor says over time what has stayed with you and that's kind of the question of it so it's like um, you've learned either similar lessons or you've learned this lesson and it's just happening again in a cycle. And um, you're kind of being asked to call upon your previous knowledge and apply it to, to now. And if you haven't, you know, asked someone who has, they can help change your perspective. So we're going to overall theme alrighty <laughs> the ninth house yeah so Aquarius and the ninth house is Sagittarius technically so those are like the biggest signs of freedom you are just feeling super trapped and you're being asked to um, to chase that so you have the north node and what we know about the south node is that's where we are comfortable that's what we know and the north node is where we might be uncomfortable but that's where like our lesson is and i think this is uh a lesson that you're gonna you know have to learn for your life like if you haven't learned it already again with the the timeless card um it might be a recurring message throughout your life um you're just chasing freedom the ninth house that's so interesting is also about travel and specifically international travel it's possible you really were gonna travel and like i don't know i see a delay it's not necessarily like you know you won't be able to it's just kind of like um not now not with this mess of a situation um so yeah i think your comfort zone is the opposite of freedom you're kind of comfortable doing what you you're already doing um, maybe you've always wanted to travel and you just haven't um, for whatever reason I don't see anything like again maybe you have financial concerns but um, other than that I don't know it just seems like you're you're staying in your comfort zone but like the opposite of your comfort zone is exploration um, literal traveling exploration and then aquarius is all about freedom challenging authority figures um being eccentric like if you were to ask me which zodiac signs represent freedom i would have said aquarius and sagittarius and so that's funny like th that's your overall message of the of the month let's see so you might be feeling a little bit sad you know a little bit depressed um 
I do see the fairy godmother though, so that's a good indication of like a wish come true. Um, you have Tinkerbell, another like wish come true situation. She's uh, she's kind of magical, so if you are working in the you know magic side of things, uh, maybe that's just a confirmation of that. You have there's you got a lot of words. Holy crap. I don't like when I get too many words because I'm like, eventually it just feels like nonsense, but... And then you got a whole ass fortune cookie, all right. <laughs> so you received love twice. You need a little self-love. You need a little um, love to give. Like, kiss. I do see romantic messages here. Star, star. So when you get the star, I think of the star card, which is a wish come true <laughs> again. Okay, so let's try to blow them together. So this is like a wish come true. This is depression. I do have a romantic message here. Name. I love that it says name and doesn't actually give a name. So maybe that's like uh, someone coming into your life that you haven't met yet. Like they're still there, you just don't know them. <laughs> um, love, love. Let's get that away from Eeyore. Then you have color. Maybe this means something to you that I can't figure out yet road we so when i think of road i think of like traveling which again um that's so unfortunate week you are the only group that did not get dice let me see if i can find you some okay so you have five and six so either the fifth the sixth the eleventh um might be relevant to you the you know it could be like the week of the fifth or whatever um it really depends but but yeah week maybe you will be traveling soon whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well <laughs> um Okay, so I kind of think of like, what's the point of trying unless you're gonna do it right? It's a lyric and I don't know, maybe you've been kind of like just staying in this situation, but I don't know, it doesn't really serve you. Um, it's kind of like talking about your career right like why what's the point of doing it if you're not gonna be happy if it's not making you money if you're not getting along with your coworkers, um an angel is kind of like the fairy godmother i think you got another like an angel wing over here you might have like um especially with the guidance card i'm thinking of like spiritual and or literal guidance so you guys uh should really ask for help um, and if you don't have really anyone to turn to, you know, turn to the tarot cards, turn to your guides, turn to your, uh, dreams, you might have messages there. Ooh, let me close this. Yeah, yikes. Okay, so we have, oh poo, how I love you. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of cute. So it might be like, uh, I was going to put it with the romantic stuff, but I mean, Pooh and Piglet are very platonic. So I feel like you have uh, someone here who really cares about you, who really loves you. You know, maybe one of these loves isn't romantic. Maybe it's like someone who's watching over you. Um, you do have the death card or <laughs> the death charm. Um, don't make fun of me. I know I'm emo. He... Well, he represents the ending of a cycle. A leaf is kind of like a new start. When I think of loops, I think of like doing things over and over again. Um, so that reminds me of the timeless card. I feel like you've learned this lesson already. And maybe you forgot it. <laughs> or maybe you didn't learn it well the first time. The arrows, you got two arrows. I think of Sagittarius and Freedom. You did also get like a heart arrow. It makes me think of like Cupid's arrow. <laughs> um, and love. So freedom and travel. Um, you received Venus, which is love. 
a dragon. So the dragon spirit might be relevant to you. Um, if not, I feel like dragons represent wisdom. They're like eternal beings. So <laughs> um, they're good to turn to. Um, at least in terms of like oracle cards or something. But I mean, honestly, you have to be like a skilled practitioner to really mess with dragons. But uh, but that's, you know, something that some people believe in. Um, you could also be working with the fae. Like if you're a witchy person. Uh, the dragonfly. The dragonfly is about having a clear mind. You got a lot of charms. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, you can either find that through guidance or through meditation and just kind of like clearing your mind so that you you can make appropriate and accurate decisions. You received a cat. Cats are about independence. So I think of like travel and Sagittarius again. You received, this is a deer. Deer is like gentleness. I really think you're gonna have like a, kind of like a soft, cute love if you don't have one already. Um, the little icing pipe is about paying attention to details. Um, I'm not really sure what that's in regards to. The anchor, I think of grounding. Um, so that, that goes back with uh, the dragonfly, right? Like keeping your mind grounded, making sure um, you're not making brash decisions. And that might even be like, pay attention to the details of contracts you sign if you choose a new job or something. Um, and this is about getting steered in the right direction, so guidance again. It's funny how like these terms are just like, reiterations of everything that's already there wisdom again yeah so i feel like um you've either learned this already it's a loop it's your wisdom and you have to apply it again or someone has gone through this and you can ask them for help you oh my god you received another freaking like i forget what these are called but they're like the ship steering wheels um yeah, so just like asking for guidance. I feel like someone's really gonna help you. Like you don't really know what to do. Your mind might even be a little clouded. And I feel like just asking for help will, will give you a lot of clarity. Um, the, masks is a, the mask is about illusions or like deception. So um, that might be like, and you know, I don't think it's you. I think it's like these toxic people down here um and then finally you received is this another cat yes so more independence let's go um yeah <laughs> holy crap so i hope uh oh yeah and then your overall message was freedom so let's go traveling and freedom and independence um i hope that was a helpful reading for this month little ghosty pile um, let me know in the comments below and have a good month. <laughs>